Hello everyone and thank you so much for stopping by. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a 10 to 15 minute makeup. So for me, I wouldn't do ever like a 5 minute makeup because honestly, if I only have 5 minutes to get ready, most likely I'm just not going to put on my makeup. I'll just walk out the door as is. I don't have a problem with not wearing makeup, but if I have about like 10 to 15 minutes, I'll show you pretty much what I would do personally. So it's going to be a very natural everyday type of makeup. So Hopefully you guys enjoy the look. So let's go ahead and get started and I'll show you what it is that I do. Okay, so all these products are gonna be like super easy to use. I try not to use like beauty blenders, things like that, just to make it super easy for me to be out the door as fast as possible. So the first product that I use is the Hard Candy Sheer Envy Hydrating Primer Mist, the 12 uh, hour power. And I'm just gonna spray this all over. And typically I would start with my eyes, but because I'm doing like a super simple, uh, you know, look, I'm just gonna start with the face and then we'll finish with the eyes. And then I would use something like a CC cream, BB cream, something that's super lightweight that again, I don't have to use like a blender for. So what I'm gonna go in with is the Aveeno CC cream with sunscreen of SPF 30 and I have, a, and I have mine in medium and it's a tinted moisturizer. And pretty much what this does is just going to even out my skin tone. It doesn't have like a whole lot of like coverage or anything like that. It's just, again, just to even out my skin tone. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply this with my hands. So as you guys can see, I don't know if you can tell the difference, but it just kind of evened out my skin tone. Nothing crazy, no full coverage, nothing like that. And if you want, you could just leave it like this. You don't have to do a concealer, but I'm going to add a little bit of concealer. And I'll be using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer, and I have mine in light, medium, beige. I'm just going to add a little bit here, a little bit on the lids. You can apply it wherever it is that you have like, I guess, problem areas just to give you a little bit more coverage if you want, but that is all I'm going to do. Okay, make sure everything's nice and blended. And because I hate when my face feels sticky, I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of powder on that same brush. Okay, and then sometimes I'll just go in with like um, my Essence Make Me Brow Eyebrow Gel Mascara, which is like a tinted brow gel, or sometimes I'll actually do my brow. So it just kind of depends on what mood I'm in. But for today, I'm just gonna go ahead and brush this through my brows real quickly.
And I don't know if you guys can tell the difference, but it just kind of tints your brows. It's nothing crazy, nothing super defining. And I'm not the type of person that if I'm gonna do my makeup, I don't use shadow, I just go in with a mascara. I usually would like to put at least some type of color. I don't like how my eyes look bare. A lot of people do, I personally don't, so that's completely up to you. If you wanna just do no eyeshadow and just go in with mascara, you totally can, but I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of eyeshadow. And so I'm gonna go in with my Milani Bold Obsessions palette, and this one has like a few different shades that you can go from like day to night with, or you can just use like an everyday look. So I'm gonna go in with this one right here, and I'm just adding it all over the lid. I don't know if you can tell the difference, but see how it kind of gives your eye a little bit of a definition instead of just being bare, you know. I just like how it makes my eyes look, but you don't have to do that. You can totally skip it. Okay, and then I'm going to add some to the lower lash line as well. And then I'm going to highlight the inner corner and brow bone, and I'm going to use this one right here. And I usually like to put the highlight like right there and then just kind of bring it up to the lid. I feel like it just kind of blends in a little better. Okay, and then I'm gonna add a little bit of mascara and I'm gonna use the All May Thickening Mascara. This is a really good, I personally like it for like everyday looks. I don't usually use it if I'm gonna do like a full face of makeup, anything like that, just because I feel like it's more of a natural mascara personally and then put some on the bottom lash Then I'm gonna go in with some bronzer. Again, you can totally skip this, but I like adding bronzer. Um, and I'm gonna use my Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula, and I have mine in bronzer. Ah. In bronzer, and this is what it looks like right here. I'm just gonna go and apply some here. Nothing too precise. Some on the forehead, on the jawline. And usually I'll go in with a super subtle highlight, such as the Essence Pure Nudes highlight, and I have mine in one be my or in ten be my highlight. And this is like a super pretty, subtle highlight, but. It gives a little bit of life to the face. And then to set it, I'm gonna use the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Natural Finish Setting Spray. This one just kind of sets everything in and then just kind of makes everything look more natural. And then for the lips, you can totally just go out with the lip balm. I usually just will choose like a lip gloss and for today I'm going to be using the Moonchild by Colourpop and it's the collaboration with Kathleen Lights. And I'm just going to add a little bit of this.
All right, and that is it. This is what I do when I have only 15 minutes to get ready. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. If you enjoyed it, please remember to give me a thumbs up. Also, if you haven't subscribed already, I would appreciate if you would do so. And I hope you have a great day, night, wherever it is that you are. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.